Hello, people. We are back at the Ultima. Yes. Crowley, I fucking hate you. Yes. Don't blame me. Blame Electronic Arts. You made me to play this game. But no, I'm playing this game. Well, well, you're making me to watch it. Yeah, but watching it can be fun. Just look at Spoony. Well, Spoony's a professional at shit. I'm not. Neither I am I. Do quality stuff. Well, at least I'm not professional with video production stuff. Uh. Anyways, we have this old hang liner in here, pulling this really old wagon, apparently. Uh. Uh, I just wonder how many thousands of years have this guy been around in here? Mm. He possibly have already forgotten who uh, the avatar even is. Actually, right now I'm wondering if he's forgotten what horses are. Well, apparently. Mm. I mean, all of the horses in Britain has died of old age. Oh no, a giant monument! It is erecting from the ground, like... <laughs> yes, and look at this. Precisely, with the sharp, thick, hard shaft covered in those red veins. So oh, I hope yours doesn't have grass. Oh no, a slow-mo stone! I cannot jump away! But... Ooh, it was all a dream. Too bad this isn't. Avatar, arise from your slumber. Yeah. yeah. The yes, this avatar on Canada. Earth somehow. The Lord British has summoned you for your final adventure. This, In order to view your this beginning doesn't make any fucking sense. I know. We weren't we were here in the last game. Press and I know. Right mouse uh, how did we get back you in here? Also use the I don't know. What, what happened? When you are close enough, I to don't object, know. The cursor will turn green if placed over the object. If you wish to use the Anyways, we are apparently on Rondis because we need some, you know, fan service for the girls. Uh, well, if you are into polygon men. Oh, that's just because have creating separate pyjama clothes would have been too much work. And he has a book about reading books. Oh, that's jolly. Did you know you can turn pages on in books? Huh. I, I, I didn't know about that. Now you know. Your well, first task I, I never read a adventure. book that told me to turn Make the sure pages. Make collect all of mm. your supplies before you leave your home. Many objects are operable. It will be useful for you to experiment. And I'm just Perhaps changing the time the here to see roughly how quickly it progresses. Just move close enough to the light switch so that your cursor is green when now to be the honest, I then don't click the left remember mouse button, how many uh, on and off. how uh, common clocks are in this game. So be sure to examine these. Well, I don't even know if this game has any clocks. Well, there's one on the wall there that I was just checking. Well, yeah, in this first stage area. Really, you will not go adventuring without <laughs> clothes. Oh no, no, I'm hearing voices inside my in head. Bathroom. Who are you, guy? Uh, Why are you talking to me? That's just the Time Lord, aka Sir Hawkwind. And <coughs> I actually. Uh, wait, wait, which Time Lord are we speaking of again? Uh, not the British one, but the one you meet in uh, Ultima 3 and Ultima 7. Oh, that Time Lord. Actually, I've never met him. You should play more Ultima 7 then. <coughs> also, in this game, uh, reveals that his name actually is Hawkwind, which I rather re relatively recently learned was not something this game just pulled out of its ass. There's also a <coughs> guy named Hawkwind, I think, in the Bard's Tale and Wizardry series, who's also some sort of lot of time or something. And what actually ties all of these uh, game series together is that uh, the people behind all of them were all in the same uh, society of creative anachronisms thing. Huh. 
So what did it all these uh, games together was um, the fact that they were made by Lord British? No, he, he wasn't didn't make Wizard Rio Bard's Tale. Oh, uh, if you mean the Ultima series, yeah, that's all Lord British, but... <coughs> now Bard's Tale from Interplay and Wizard Rio from... Uh, Notice mm. the tool belt at the bottom of the screen. The later games were made by Sirtek, Mingongshu, no, but the early ones. But the let's get back to this game. You know what would be totally epic? If a Time Lord to place from like a uh, Tartar series, uh, well, the, the you know, the British one, mm. uh, would totally come into this uh, game and be like, hey, let's get back to into the past and shoot those robotic uh, trash cans and those mini mouse robots. That oh. would make this game pretty good. <laughs> ah. But there is a problem. Press there is the no magic in Doctor Who. The center of the screen. Yes, there, there is. The no, there isn't. Of your tool belt. Well, there is now. Don't forget to press the Q key really? again to lock the cursor oh, I don't know. I've never followed that series. Anyway, now we pick up a backpack which appears in the inventory, but not in the character model. Yeah, because you know it is uh, way more convenient to have these. Uh, Blocks uh, blocking your way down Once to the have the name visible open, in the background. Mm. Mm. Uh, and this house is pretty full of right self advertising for EA and Ultima Online and EA making sure that everything that you enjoyed in the past will turn into shit. Yes. Hmm. And there's a book about ocean travel without a boat. A.K.A. Swimming. Huh. Well, perhaps he was like uh, back dappling or something like that. Mm -hmm. Battling uh, whatever it is called as. Well, come to think of it, this is the first... Uh, no, this is not. You could swim in Ultima Underworld, so... Hmm. Uh, with uh, mixed success. Mm. So, it's not... That the avatar has just recently learned to swim. Hmm. Well, he never knew how to swim from begin with. Yes, but I just said he could swim in Ultima Underworld. Yes, but it's just an illusion. <laughs> oh. I mean, it, it, it's an Ultima game. I mean, from EA. What, what do you expect? Yeah. And this is stuff about some Sir Ricardo. I don't really know what this is all about. It's written by Shamino and come to think Shamino. of it. All those Well at le at least not uh, I'm not Shamilan. Yeah. Come to think of it, all those books seem to have the ankh on the cover, so did the Avatar hold two bookshelves worth of books back from Britannia? Or, uh, well, maybe he just, uh, like, made a custom order of books, so, uh, whatever book he wanted, he wanted, uh, whatever uh, was the content of that book, but he wanted them to be covered with an ankh, yeah. and, of course, the covers has to, had to be made of goat's, uh, skin. Yeah. Also, there, now and then there's some trouble with the game. Positioning the sitting, you just saw that one of his legs clipping into the sofa. And we'll see. Of course, don't your legs clip into the sofa. Mine does. Mine doesn't. Uh, well, that might be because I'm poorly programmed. Mm. Uh, but it's most, mostly funny that he, he's not even surprised that these random angs are just uh, popping up out of everything. Oh, it's the Time Lord. He sneers himself, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Very interesting book. Uh, you know, the books in Ultimate were way more interesting. Hmm. No, and they <laughs> actually had some story behind them. No. No, I'm just taking a look at the stuff that's in the journal. There's a brief summary of all the previous games. Uh, which contains <laughs> fuck ton of lies, that's for sure. Mm. Actually, it's alright. Uh, but for some reason, it 
also tells what's happening in this game already. Yes, uh -huh. And it also tells about monsters, which we've not seen at all yet. Yet there is explanations of them yeah, somehow. Well, that's a wonderful book. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, who would, who wouldn't like spoilers? Uh, who wouldn't want a book which tells you everything you need to know to handle yourself tomorrow? Yes, of course. I, also, I want a TV that gives EA uh, sports advertisements 24-7. Hmm. And you really need to do something about that rat infestation problem. Uh, well, I do have rat poison over the fridge. There's a first aid kit, which is a very handy item since it provides infinite healing. Unlimited power! Man, that's one long bandage aid. Ah. Maybe it's made, made with Time Lord technology, it's bigger on the inside. Oh, there's the red mega. I see. You know, I've never seen a machine like that in my life. I didn't even know those things exist. Yeah, bread making machines do exist. I thought you could put in flour in here and make a regular bread, but apparently I, I remembered wrong. However, huh. you can make poison bread. Well, because uh, what the fuck not? Yeah. And it's no no wonder there's rats here if the avatar keeps leaving food on the floor like that. Huh. Well, perhaps that is his bitch rat or something. Huh, could be. Maybe the I mean, ra rats are awesome bits. What the fuck is in that jar? I have Is that like intense? Holy crap, that was like the hor most horrifying scene I've ever seen in my life. Um, what was that freaking jar in the in that mm. other door? Oh, so are you sure it is more horrifying than this? I'm not even sure what that is doing in there. Well, you do have to dispose of the corpses you somehow. Still have much to learn uh, you well, to yeah, I mean, the you don't want to bother to love with all house. of the criminals that you shoot that tries to break into your house. Mm. Also, I, I, I suppose uh, Avatar learned his lesson from the past Ultima games, uh, where everything that he owned got stolen. Mm. Don't forget to pick up the arrow. Also, there's a dog, and I think the tab key will put that the combat mode, and you will is the only dog in the entire game. The Aren't you glad the arrow, developers took the time of the creating that model? Press the tab key again to unready your weapon. Yeah, it, it does look. Shoot it with an arrow. Nah. Let's practice first. What's his practicing to do? Well, it's it's really just to get the player uh, familiar with the controls. It doesn't really now give you any stats increases or such. Yeah, so basically just with your sword. Now, why there was a sword in the stone? Because he's the avatar, that's why. So he may create some sort of a mechanism that game? Uh, only he can you beat that sword out of that stone. Could be, but you hey, also check out his animal magnetism, which keeps the, the sword attached to his back without any kind of strap or, or sheath or whatever. Right well, he's been taking a lesson from Cloud, all three together, as you can clearly backwards. see. I mean, next thing we know, he's spinning that sword around and making Omnis last. No, I actually think that for Cloud, those, you know, 
pegs on his shoulder shoulder pad is where he attaches the sword since it also no, has it's to... on his back. Mm. Well, and also for some reason I I'm sorry, logic doesn't apply in Final Fantasy. Well, I wasn't any more talking about Final Fantasy, I was going to talk about this game some more. For some reason musical instruments in a box outside, because why not? Can you use those musical instruments? Do they do anything good for you? Well, you can use them and make a few sounds, but that's about all. And also, the, are are those the, the kind of sounds that you can do use to annoy your enemies with? No, but hey, use the telescope and the game crashed. Well, that's that's lovely.